Huh. Uh, give me a minute. I'm looking for something. I seem to have... I don't know. I haven't seen it lately, but it's got to be here somewhere. It has to be. It has to be here. Not in there. I can't. It's got to be here. That's. It's got to be here. Uh, you know, you'd think. Oh, it ain't gonna be in there. Um. It's not going to be down there. That's guitar stuff, GoPro stuff, and a, some World War I history stuff. I don't see it in there anywhere. This is ridiculous. Come on, man. Not up there. It was here. I mean, it's been a while since I've seen it. I will admit that. I don't know. I don't know. It's like I said, I haven't seen it in a while. I'm not sure what happened to it, but... I haven't seen hide nor hair of COVID in quite some time now. How about you? What happened to COVID? What happened to COVID? It was the biggest thing in the world about a year and a half ago. People were wearing masks. They're still wearing masks. People were locked in their homes. The economy crashed. Businesses went, went, out, went belly up. People lost jobs. So many bad things happened because of COVID. It was the worst thing in the world. According to the government, especially the California government, it was going to be the biggest thing in the world for the next 15 years. But I haven't heard I hear of it lately. Why? Because it doesn't fit the, the, the liberal narrative anymore. They don't need that to scare people anymore. People are tired of it. They're not scared of it anymore. They see that things are being, that are, things are okay now. Uh, the CDC said, well, maybe the masks weren't such a, a necessity after all. Maybe the vaccines weren't such a necessity after all. Why? Because just like all other diseases that come around, they fade away. We overcome them. We our herd immunity. And hey, maybe the vaccines did do some good. I don't know. I'm not a doctor. But forcing them on people. We had people who lost their jobs because they weren't going to get the vaccine, because they didn't get the vaccine. People who were going to lose their jobs until the companies like Union Pacific Railroad said, okay, never mind. Whoa, we're going to end up Union Pacific. I talked to one of their executives uh, during all this, and he said they expected to lose over 30% of their workforce over the vaccines. Uh, companies can't sustain that. And uh, all the people who were, uh, it was just terrible. But where is it now? Alongside the road of liberal hate and discontent where all the other stuff that they have used to scare people over the years resides. It's just a junk pile along both sides of that road of hate and discontent that the Democrats have used in fear, that the Democrats have been using since I was a young adult and first started paying attention to politics. They have been doing this forever. And now it's Donald Trump. I mean, it started during his tenure as president where they tried to make people afraid of Donald Trump and they're still doing it. Be why? Because Joe Biden is a complete disaster. Kamala Harris, you don't even hear about her anymore. They've stopped putting her on, on TV except on CNN and these discredited networks. Nobody pays any attention to her anymore. Uh, Pete Buttigieg, how the heck ever his name, name is pronounced, what an 
idiot. Uh, one of the uh, biggest ecological disasters in the East Palestine derailment that's happened in America in the last 25 years. And you've got this guy out there as the, as the face of the government. Come on, man, give me a break. Uh, the guy got his position because he's gay. It has nothing to do. The guy's incompetent. He has absolutely, he's way underqualified for any government job, especially that one. But it's the same. It's always the same with the Democrats. Where is COVID? This, seriously, they made it sound like COVID was going to kill a hundred million Americans. They didn't make it sound like that. That's what they said. That if we didn't do this and we didn't do this and we didn't do this, it would kill a hundred million Americans. And uh, so what was their answer? Open the borders and allow unvetted, untested immigrants into the United States. Who knows how many cases of COVID were brought in by those people. You know there were thousands of them and we still overcame it as a people and as a society, humanity won again. And we always will, and that's the lesson here. Humanity will always win if we allow ourselves to win. We have to stop listening to people who are spreading fear and hate. Where's COVID? Still around, but is anyone talking about it? Nope, nope, because the Democrats created that fiasco and and now they're in trouble. All this stuff with, with hunters coming to face and bribery and all these other issues that are coming to the surface now and can't be, they can't be escaped anymore. And uh, they can't be swept under the carpet anymore. It's getting too close to election time for that kind of stuff to just go away. So they don't want to trot out something that they created that everybody's tired of and everybody's mad about. They got to find something else. And right now, that is trying to re persecute Donald Trump. Nobody cares about COVID anymore, and nobody cares about Donald Trump anymore. The liberals are just trying to force that on us. But uh, yeah, COVID's gone. I can't find it anywhere. Can you find it? Look around your house, look around your TV, see if you can find it, because I think it's gone. I think it's just gone. What do you think? Let me know in the comments below. Shoot me an email at motorport 59 at gmail.com. Like, share, subscribe, click on the bell if you want to be notified of future content, and we'll see you all later.